Hey guys, welcome back to our vSphere 6.5 ICM hands-on training. This is lab 5. Uh, this is a very small lab. Uh, in this lab, we'll just go ahead and explore the different vSphere client UIs which are available to us. And we, we will see how do we work with both of these UI. It's up to you which UI you would like really, but I think the WebSphere web client UI is better in my case. That's the UI I kind of mostly work with, but I'll leave that decision to you. Once you are done with this episode, you will see how do you really access both the UIs and how do you really work with both of the UIs. This is the high level objective uh, for this lab. We will go ahead and explore the vSphere client UI. To access the vSphere client UI, you would have to type the IP address or FQDN of your vCSA followed by slash UI. So that would be something HTTPS colon the IP address of your vCSA slash UI. So just typing UI, that means you are accessing the vSphere client UI. If you are interested in accessing the vSphere web client UI, you would need to type HTTPS VCSE IP address or the FQDN followed by the vSphere hyphen client. So in my case, I would be typing HTTPS colon colon slash slash IP address of my VCSA slash vSphere hyphen client. So it's your choice when you go to just the VCSA IP address, you are kind of being prompted uh, to log into the vSphere client UI instead of UI. If you are interested in using the vSphere client UI, you would have to manually type slash UI. So let's go ahead and take that quickly into the action. So I went to the browser and I have typed the IP address of my VCSA followed by slash UI. Now I'm being prompted to enter the username for my VCSA. So let's go ahead and type the username which is administrator at vSphere.local and go ahead and specify the password that was specified during the installation of VCSA and go ahead and log in. So right now we are logging into the vSphere client UI. So once you are on the vSphere client UI, uh, it's says okay you are running an expired or trial license uh, that that's okay with us and it shows the your vCenter here uh, the ESXi host that was added here if you need to explore or go different places you can always click on menu and there are different options let's say if you want to go back to the home screen just simply go ahead and click on home that would show you some of the details related the CPU memory and some of the other information that if you need to go back to the host and cluster, you can go to the host and cluster, click on your ESXi and you can explore some of these things. So this is the UI. This UI is called the vSphere client UI. So uh, this is one of the UI which is available on your vCSA and you can certainly go ahead and make use of this UI to work with uh, your vCenter. Again, I it's your personal decision. Now, once you're done, let's just go ahead and simply exit out from the vSphere client UI as it clearly says vSphere client here. So now let's log out from the vSphere client and now we will go ahead and log in to our vSphere web client. And to go to the vSphere web client, I have typed the IP address of my vCSA followed by vSphere hyphen client. And now I'm again being prompted to enter the username. So now let's go ahead and enter the username, which is vSphere.local login. And I will go ahead and specify the password for my VCSA. And now we are logging into vSphere web client. Web client is different from your vSphere UI basically. I feel the vSphere web client is much more uh, much more user friendly, but it's your choice. Uh, whichever UI you would like to work with, uh, you can go ahead and do that certainly. If you need to go back to the home screen, uh, just simply click on home. There are different options available. Again, you can go to host and cluster administration from left hand side or wherever you fly. If you want to go and take a look at your storage, uh, just simply go ahead and click on storage. Let's say I go ahead and close the recent task. If I go ahead and close the recent objects too. If you need to uh, restore some of those things back, you can go always under this one and you can say, okay, hey, restore, reset to factory defaults. So that will restore all of your layouts and some of the other options. These are the different things you can explore with your uh, vSphere web client. Throughout this series, I will be using the vSphere web client as my UI client to work with the vCSA or the vCenter. I'll leave that decision to you, whichever UI you want to go ahead and use. But I would highly encourage you to spend a lot more time over work with the vSphere web client than the UI because I feel the vSphere web client is, have, is very feature rich and is much more user friendly than the UI. That'll be all for this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode.